Today at Customized Creations, we're going to be reviewing some custom machine work and coatings we have applied to this M&P Smith & Wesson here. Uh, right off the bat, you're going to see the whole gun was done in a KG gun coat. This is the flat dark earth color. This is a, a special mix for us. It's not too satin. It's not too flat. It's got a nice smooth texture to it and a nice overall color. You can see we masked off the grip sections and we did the controls in black. KG Gun Coat's one of the best uh, coatings on the industry right now. They're a leader in the firearms market. Uh, their coatings are mil spec rated. They have an extreme durability and corrosion resistance to them. We have more information on that on the website along with the colors that we offer. You can check that out at customizedcreations.com. Next, you're going to notice the custom mounted Burris Fast Fire on here. Let's see if we could turn it on for you. I don't know if we can see that through the video camera or not. There we go. Uh, we mounted this on here. Red dots seem to be becoming the next thing in handguns here. We wanted to be able to offer it to our customers on just about every gun that we have. We've done Glocks. We've done XDs. We've done SIGs. Uh, Smith & Wessons like this one here and other models as well. It's nice because there's no mounts uh, that go to the dovetail. This is machined directly to the slide. You can remove the two screws. We make a top plate that goes over top of this and we're going to be offering a top plate pretty soon that's going to have an iron sight machined into it. So when you remove this red dot, you put the plate on and it'll have a factory height iron sight machined directly into that plate on top there. Those are going to be coming out probably in the spring to summer of 2013. Uh, the next thing you're going to notice, obviously, is some of the machine work that we did to the slide here. We got big openings in the ports there. This barrel is not ported. We do have a port job on the barrel that goes along with this. We also go through and we do an engraving removal on the side of the slide and reduce more weight on the side of the slide as well when we machine into the sides there. Uh, obviously, you can see this has one of our laser engravings. It also has a complete Apex trigger kit in it with our action work done to it as well. This has got a smooth, crisp, short reset, three pound trigger pull to it. I've gone a little bit lower on some of the models and I've gotten it down to two and a half pounds. Its reliability was a little bit less than what I would hope for. Uh, competition or range gun maybe that would probably be okay I don't really think you're gonna notice the difference between the three and three and a half pounds of pull you would get with uh, the regular action work versus the competition action work uh, this is a safe reliable carry gun with about three pounds of trigger pull this gun is a very accurate shooting gun it's also has a 357 sig barrel uh, that one is ported. That gun shoots like a laser beam. With all the uh, weight reduction done to the slide, the cycle time on the slide is increased. We put a little heavier spring in there to slow it down a little bit and keep it from beating the gun up too much. But this allows you to get the slide back into action faster and get you back on target faster as well. By doing the barrel porting with the lightning on the side and the top and the porting on the side slide, this makes the gun very fast, very competitive, and as far as a carry gun, this is about as ultimate of a carry gun you can get, having the red dot sight on it. A backup iron sight in front of that is also available, which would make this gun a very, very good defense gun. This is one of our competition model M&Ps. You can see it's got a lot of lightning on the port here. This barrel is not ported. We do have a ported barrel model for this. It has a Fast Fire 3 mount, so you can mount the red dot to it. We do have the option of mounting an iron sight in front of this and running some suppressor sights on it. This is done in the KG Gun Coat Flat Dark Earth. The panels are left black. The controls are all left black as well. You can see it's got our engraving on it. We also did an engraving removal on the side, on both sides. Got the slide lightened on the sides, the porting, chamfering, trigger work. It's got an apex trigger in it. Some more of our smoothing and rounding of the internal components. This trigger here is about three pounds. It's very nice. 
Uh, so let's stop talking, let's start shooting. As you can see, this thing is extremely accurate. Really, really nice trigger on this. This is, like I said, about a three pound trigger. The reset's really short. This is probably about as close to a 1911 trigger as you're gonna get in something like this. Very, very nice gun.